So all of us get those annoying calls from telemarketers. That's right. And it turns out that some of the things that we say to them when we answer the phone actually prompts more calls. Yeah, Nathan Morabito shares tonight the five things that you can do to stop telemarketers from calling you. I always thought the best thing to do is ignore the call, but that only works if it's a robocall. A former telemarketer told me if there's a human being on the other end of the line, hanging up is your first mistake. When you spend your nights calling person after person, trying to get them to stay on the line and hear you out, you become an expert on the do's and don'ts of telemarketing. Anytime you're being rude, you're probably doing the wrong thing. Erica Elson spent two years in the business before giving away her secrets to lifehacker.com. And now, from her home in California, us. The most polite but brief thing you can do is the best. Her top five tips. First, always answer the call. When you ignore telemarketers, they can't mark you off their list. All the phone numbers are in the system, and they're going to keep coming back up unless there's a firm answer. So if they don't pick up the phone, you don't know if they're interested or not. So we're going to keep calling them until we have a definitive answer. Tip two, don't tell them to call you back at some other time. They will. Number three, when you answer the call, don't just tell them to never call you again. Be specific. Turns out, just like the federal government, telemarketing companies have do not call lists of their own. Quickly and respectfully tell them to add you. Unless someone told us, put me on your do not call list, that basically meant that we could call them again. Tip four, don't give away any personal information. Not even that you're married, eating dinner with your family, or at your job. They won't forget. If you really absolutely do not want the person to call you again, don't reveal any sort of personal information. Anything that you say on the phone can be taken down in the notes. Her last tip, follow the golden rule. Whether you like them or not, much like you, telemarketers are just trying to make a living. Be kind. Don't make them mad. It could come back to bite you. Some people might be spiteful and just purposefully put them back in so they keep getting called. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to add your phone number to the National Do Not Call Registry. I just did so myself for my work phone recently. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. Those are good tips because I just usually let the phone ring, go to voicemail, ignore it. Right. right. Well, I kind of pick it up and put it right yeah, back that's down another when good I see point. what it is. But. Right.